Now next we look into ACL classification and identification. ACL classification based on ACL rules definition method. As you can see from here, ACL have five categories. So we have basic basic ACL, which is start from 2000 to 2999. This is the number range, okay? And as a basic, these rules were only based on the source IPv4, okay? So remember that basic defined rules based on IPv4, fragmentation information and effective time range. So typically we will look into the source, the fragmentation and the time range. Again, it's an optional for you to look into fragmentation and time range. So, but that is in the basic. Then we look into the advanced ACL. Now advanced ACL is where we use a number range of 3000 to 3999. Don't worry about all this range. I'll show you one example on how this is being applied. But I want you to remember that uh, there are five categories here. Now these are the two categories that always we use. So the two categories will be basic and the uh, advanced. So as you can see that it's defined rules based on source and destination IPv4. I want you to remember this. Basic is just purely based on source. I just want to match your source. As long as you are this source, I'll match you. It can be matched to permit. It can be matched to deny. But if it's a advanced ACL, I will match both source and destination. If I match the source but destination is not matched, then I do not have a match. All right. For me to have a match, I need to both source and destination. Then I have a match. Remember this. Uh, this is a N operator. N. It have to be both matches. And this is for IPv4 uh, protocol type, ICMP type, TCP source destination source or destination port, UDP source or destination port, and the time range. So which means that the at once ACL match all these conditions, all right? Source and destination must match. But the, the others one, all these are optional. Then we also have the uh, layer two ACL. Layer two ACL, as its name suggests, means that they are matched based on layer two information. And the number range is 4,000 to 4,999. Example will be a MAC address. So if you want to match MAC address, then you have to use a number range of 4000 to 4999. Then you also have a user defined uh, ACL, anything from 5000 to 5999. So these are the rules based on packet header, offset character string, and user defined character string. Uh, this hardly we use it, very rare that we use it, but it's actually based on some masking. And you also have a user ACL, anything from 6000 to 6999. So define rules based on source IPv4 address or user control list, okay? Uh, destination IP or user, uh, destination user control list, IPv4 uh, type IP, ICMP, TCP, and UTP. So uh, typically the user ACL we also very rarely use. But then again, the option is there if you need it. So they also have two ways for us to configure the ACL. Either we are using the number ACL or we can use the name ACL. Now number ACL means that we are using uh, this number. When we use the name ACL, name ACL means that we are going to type the name. Now most of the configuration uh, nowadays because of the number, uh, it doesn't associate to anything we would want to give some meaning. So most of the case now, we use a name ACL so that uh, the ACL is more manageable and we have a meaning associated to that ACL. Now, as I mentioned, we are going to look into how to configure the ACL, all right? So just now I explained to you what are the range of the ACL. So there are two category of ACL we always use. One is called basic ACL, another one is called advanced ACL. If you still remember, I told you, the basic ACL, if you remember, I mentioned that this is based on your source address. Okay, this is based on your source address. And um, let's look into here. So my ACL number is 2000. Okay, so 2000 means that it is a basic ACL. Now, the rules 5, 10, and 15, these are the steps, okay? Step of 5, that is a default. Then we have our action, deny or permit, okay? 
Now, it's always the source IP that we actually look at when we use ACL number 2000 to 2999. So when we define ACL 2000, then we have to define the source IP address and then the wildcard. Okay, so this is the example that we have earlier on. So this is pretty simple, means that for rules number five, I will just say that I'm going to deny you if you are 10111. Okay, so this is a zero match. Basically, the wildcard is zero, means that it's a single host. So on this, on this one is also single host, and this one is on the entire subnet to be permitted. Now let's look into advanced ACL. In the advanced ACL, as I mentioned, that is based on source IP and the destination IP. So as you can see from here, the IP header will be on the uh, source and the destination IP. And on top of that, we also have to match the TCP slash UDP header. Here we have the uh, port number and only behind here is the data. Now I want you to take note about the uh, ACL 3000 here. As you can see that I have a uh, source and also have a destination. So based on the source and the destination and based on this uh, 3000, we know that this is a uh, advanced ACL. And on top of that, you notice that on the rules number 10, you can see that I am going to permit TCP source 10120 with a wildcard of 000255, which means that the entire subnet of 10120 using a TCP protocol. And if your source is 10120 and the destination is 10130, so you can see that the wildcard is 000255. So which means that subnet of 10120 going to 10130 subnet with a destination port of 21. In this case, it's the FTP, then I will permit you. You understand how this ACL is being constructed? Okay, so I hope that you actually follow me on this, uh, uh, the construction of ACL.